Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 157 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help crafters find unique ways to use products in their collections. It's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they need to get started. My name is Lindsay Mann. I am a demonstrator from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I have been with Stampin' Up! for over 20 years. I love to craft and I love to share what I'm working on with you. So today we're going to be sharing a product that you might have an abundance of right now. And you're thinking, okay, what do I do with this now? It is the time of year where you might be done your Christmas cards. And hey, no judgment if you are not. I still have a few more to make because I do send out quite a few. Um, but if you're starting to wrap up the Christmas crafting, um, you might have some leftovers that are taking up space. And so I'm gonna show you some ways to use up this product. As you're tuning in, please say hello. Hello, Sharon, good to see you. Hi, Barbara, hi, Elise. Um, yes, so it's it's a product that you're, I know you have a lot of. If, you've, if you're a crafter of any form, you know, I know you have a lot of this. Um, okay, a few things before we get started with our projects today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And, and as always, feel free to put lots of comments in. If you like something, give me some hearts. It's always nice to know that I'm talking to other people, just not myself. Um, as well as I have some in-person classes coming up. So if you're local or if you live in Canada, there's a couple of options for you. So on December 7th, we're doing a gift making class. Mm. So if there's somebody on your list that you'd like to do a little something for, um, and you want it to be handmade and from the heart, this is a great option for you. I'm just going to show you the, uh, the outside of it. So it is five greeting cards. They're all occasions, not Christmas. So there's a birthday card, a sympathy card, um, a thank you card. You know, there's, there's five different cards in there and our new holiday catalog comes out in January. And so I'm going to be using some sneak peek products in that class. So this is one that you can attend in person. So when you're all done, your package will be all gifted, wrapped up and gifted, wrapped up, <laughs> let me start again, wrapped up and giftable um, so that you can gift this to maybe a neighbor, hairstylist, a friend, somebody you're going for coffee with, but don't fret. It's not, not a Christmas get together. Um, so we are going to also be having a hot chocolate bar so you can make your own hot chocolate. And then each one of my attendees is getting their own little gift basket. So will this class have pool party? Um, likely. Yeah. So, uh, it is, uh, there's a little something for you and a little something for them in it. So it is a $25 class or free with a $35 order. I do have a few spots left. You can message me to reserve your spot. Now, if you live in Canada, but don't live local, this next option might be for you. So I am doing an in-person version, but I can send this kit to go. And this is a Christmas tag class. So you're going to make a minimum of 20 tags and they are super cute and super easy. So this is like a kit together class. So you're going to be working with a kit and making these really, really cute tags. So I'll show you an example. So today is December 1st. So if you've already worked with the Stampin' Up! Advent calendar, then you probably recognize some of these pieces, but it makes for a very fun tag. So, um, yeah, be sure to let me know if you'd like one of those. I have limited spots in that as well, um, but I can ship that kit to go and you will be very successful working at home because all of the pieces will be in the kit. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do the awkward transition and then you'll get to see um, my hands and sh I'll show you the projects we're working on. Okay, let me clip you into my stand like so. high quality um, performance today. There we go. Okay, so just to wet your whistle, this is what our mini catalog that starts in January looks like. I mean, stunning. And we also will have celebrations starting in January as well. 
This is the biggest sale of the year. With every $60 Canadian, you'll receive a free reward out of this book. I can't show you the inside yet, but you will be able to get a copy of this if you've placed an order over $60 with me in the last six months. So if you haven't, uh, just reach out to me if you'd like a copy of this catalog and I can mail you one. Hello, Deanna. Okay, so let's get started on our fabulous projects. Sorry, I'm messing with my camera today. Huh, whole thing. Okay, so what is the product that you probably have an abundance of? Well, my guess is you have an abundance of paper. So this is our designer series paper. Today we're working with Berry Christmas, but I mean seriously, any of these projects can be done with any of the leftover paper that you have. So if you're like me and you love to buy all of the things, then you probably have a few sheets of this lying around. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can make some little giftables to be able to share with friends and family. Now, um, I wanted to just point out that our current mini catalog is retiring at the end of the month. And so you have the opportunity to get these last chance items, some of them at a discount. Now in my catalog, I've marked out where the, the um, retiring items are and what, where we've got some sale prices. Like this one here is our biggest sale. It's 60% off and it's this really fun little Christmas set. And remember the um, nested treat boxes that we worked with last week to be able to make the dog advent calendar? If you missed it, head back, the replay is there. They're on sale for $9.45, $9.45. Really inexpensive way to be able to make your dog's advent calendars or your friend's dog's advent calendars. So now's a good time to uh, head to my store and see what things are on sale and what's still available. So, like I said, DSP is our topic today. Now, DSP has been a topic of conversation many times on this um, show. So, it's a really, really versatile and fun thing to play with. So, the first thing I wanted to share with you is actually from our Halloween collection. This is the Tricks and Treats dies. Um, you've seen me play with this a few times. I really, really love this little box maker. So, we're going to make ourselves a Christmas treat box. So, I've already done some die cutting and here you can see from the Berry Christmas DSP, we've got the two sheets and you can cut that through your stamp and cut and emboss machine with, um, just run it through with six by six paper and you'll be able to get matching ones. Now I am going to use Terran tape. This is one of our handy dandy, really sticky tapes and I'm gonna put it on the side. I want to see the image on the little flappy part. We're going to add that Terran tape I didn't even, do you guys like my candy cane Christmassy? I feel like an elf today. I actually kind of did it on purpose because I like to, um, I have adult kids and I find I kind of have to make my own Christmas fun right now because when they were little, there was always, you know, Christmas pageants and, and uh, year end shows and those kinds of things. And as you get older, the kids don't have those things anymore. So anyway, December 1st warranted some Christmas attire. All right, I'm going to, now that I've got the tape on here, I'm going to line up this edge, just like that. And then I'm going to flip this over. And this one is going to shut together, just like this. All right, and then fold it on the score lines. And then these score lines are going to come together too. So I kind of love that this wraps around. So I'm gonna have this one be the outside piece and this is going to go here and then this one is going to go here. So if you looked at the bottom of the box, you'd kind of see the, the polar bear sticking its head around. So in order to complete this, we're gonna add a little bit of tape. So we've got my Stampin' Seal Plus, which is the extra sticky um, double-sided adhesive that is on a roll. So it's kind of like Terran tape. I feel like Terran tape, like if you were to rank them, Terran tape is gonna be number one for stickiness and Stampin' Seal's number two, Stampin' Seal Plus. Stampin' Seal regular is number three. So that's kind of the ranking of stickiness. Okay, so now this, we're going to do the inside. Just like that. So this is gonna go in like that. And then we're gonna fold that guy. 
and then this is going to go down like that. And then I can just use my hand to brace it so that it'll stick. So there's our little box. So that's why I love this die. It's really, really simple. Now, to make a little gift for, for a friend, we're going to toss in a couple Ghirardelli chocolates. And now I'm going to use my fingers to make a gusseted bag. So just like that. Now, I have something called a crocodile. This is like from a million years ago, we used to sell it. Um, but there is in this die set, the ability to make holes. But for the sake of time and for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use my crocodile. So we're going to fold this piece forward. Just like that. And then we're going to use the crocodile to punch out holes. Like that. And then I'm going to bring in some Knight of Navy ribbon. This one is the bordered ribbon. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to cut this a little bit larger than my bag. And it's always easiest when you're working with ribbon to cut it on a point, especially if you're trying to fit it through holes. So from the front of the bag to the back, I'm going to thread the ribbon. So one side and then the other side. And I'm just gonna turn it so it's make sure it's not folded weird. So now with my ends matched up, I'm gonna pull it tight like that. And then I'm going to just pull that ribbon to the side and then go ahead and thread that through. This is where, again, I, this one wasn't very pointy, but we'll just work with it. Okay, pull that through. So this is something that I call a faux bow because it's not really a bow, but it's a great way to use your ribbon to tie closed the top of a bag. So then you can pull it tight and it's nice and clean looking too from both sides. Okay, with my ribbon scissors, I'm going to trim this on an angle like that. So now you have this cute little gift bag that you can give to a friend um, and I just, really simply added an open me tag and then some silver twine to add to the top. So it like add personalizing a gift doesn't have to be complicated. And given that they're likely just going to tear this apart, I don't want it to be expensive or fussy. I just want it to be something that shows that I thought of my pal. So there you go. That is project number one. So let me know if you've tried something like this before, or if you have that amazing um, trick or treats dies. This is retiring friends. So like now's your last chance to get it. Okay. We're going to move on to project number two. So this one was inspired by Sam Donald. She's a demonstrator from the UK and she really specializes in boxes. And I wanted to find a way to be able to use up six by six paper. But again, I'm using Berry Christmas, which is a 12 by 12 DSP, but I've cut it into my six by six. So here are the cutting and or sorry the scoring instructions you're going to score it at one inch two and three quarters three and three quarters and five and a half and then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one inch and five inches so i'm going to just hold it still so you can take a screenshot if you'd like there we go so one two and three quarter three and three quarter five and a half one five okay so now you're going to do a little bit of cutting. So here I've drawn on the place that I want that to be cut. Now here's something I made a mistake the first time. You want to notice that the half inch side is the side that you wanna do the cutting on. The full inch needs to stay as part of the box. So I'm going to follow my score lines with my snips. I saw this really funny meme. I, I reposted it the other day and it said, I used my mom's ribbon scissors to cut paper and now the cops are here. <laughs> I feel that way with my ribbon scissors. <laughs> we, I don't think we sell ribbon scissors anymore, do we? Um, we do still, still sell snips, but I do find, I like the precision of these ones. They're so nice and fine tipped. Um, these ones really are best for ribbon or fabric. Okay, so here we've got our little cut and then we're going to follow all of our score lines 
like that. Okay, I need your guys' help. Um, so I'm giving up trashy TV for the month in lieu of Christmas movies. Because like I said, when you don't have little ones at home, you do have to find your own way to make Christmas fun. Um, so I need your favorite Christmas movies in the comments. So whatever you are watching to get into the holiday spirit, be sure to um, leave me a comment there. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm following these score lines and I'm just making little snips to make it easier to fold together. Like that. And like that. Love Actually, oh, Roxanne, yeah, that is definite. I love that one. The hard part is my family won't let me watch those ones without them. So um, I have to find new ones, otherwise they get cranky with me. And the hard part is my youngest isn't coming home until December 23rd from college. So um, I, I really have to wait for the favorites. Um, I watched a new one on Netflix. It was called family switch it was with um ed helms whom i love because of course i love the office and jennifer gardner garner and it was um it was cute it was cute it was like i'm not sure why jennifer garner has been typecast into these roles where she switches bodies all the time but hey man do your thing okay so this is gonna fold up like so so i'm actually going to put a little bit of tear and tape onto my box flaps like that and like that and over here too okay and like that oh have you guys seen spirited it's on apple tv so a lot of people i know don't have apple tv but it's with ryan reynolds and will ferrell and it is so good um it it's the same, it's a musical, and it's the same um, music, or music writers, is that the word I'm looking for, um, who wrote Greatest Showman and Dear Evan Hansen. So the music is like out of this world, and it's quite funny. Um, it's like pretty colorful, so I don't know if, how you feel about that, but I'm all for a little color in my humor. So... Um, but like if you have little littles, you might not appreciate some of the humor. But anyway, be warned. Um, so now I'm just folding these little flaps in. But yeah, it is so funny. I really liked it. So anyway, we watched it while we put up the tree the other day. And I was like, oh yeah, this show. So good. Okay, so now we've got this cute little box, right? And now this can just fold in like so. Now something that Sam did on hers was she used I think a corner rounder but I'm just going to use my snips to make a tiny little decorative edge like that and then you can use if you have a circle punch um, this just makes it a little easier to grab the edge of this when you're pulling it out so I'm just in the middle of the box adding that little piece to be able to catch your thumbnail on it so this little box now goes like that I mean seriously cute right okay so Ghirardelli do kind of fit in here I think Hershey Nuggets would fit better or maybe you've got a favorite you know that you could fit in there um, but see it kind of pushes it out just a little bit but I'll show you how I finished the decor on this so you can kind of get away with it that's what I'm saying but like Hershey Nuggets would probably fit really well in there or like a smaller chocolate bar um or tea you know or you know I'm sure you can find cool things for that so here is what my finished project looks like and I made it on a belly band so this comes right off this bear is punched out with the bear punch and it's from the designer series paper so that's one of the perks of the berry christmas paper is it has all these fun wintry images and here you can see is my Giardelli inside and then i just put merry christmas on the inside of the lid just like that now can i get back on while you guys are watching that's always the kicker uh yeah i think i can do it okay um encouragement please oh my goodness there we go Okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, just a sweet little gift. I mean, 
Again, it doesn't have to be pricey. It just is sort of a nice little, hey, I'm thinking about you kind of thing. Oh, Reese's Trees, Courtney. Yeah, maybe, hey? Mm, I'm gonna have to go sh shop around for the candy and take a peek and see what I can find. Cause this is measuring. It is one and three quarter inches. So one and three quarter inches. So that's, I guess, take your ruler to the candy store. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on. So this is the PYP card. And again, at this time of year when you're busy, it's just fine to take inspiration from your friends. Um, I want to thank Lou Kitzelman, um, who I follow on Instagram. She sort of inspired this layout and I just thought this was a great way to be able to use designer series paper. So I'm bringing in a piece of Misty Moonlight and I'm bringing in a piece of 12 by 12 by four uh, Berry Christmas paper. I have scored it at four inches, four and eight. And then I used a, a half inch little, or maybe that was a quarter inch. I think it was a quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch. So let me show you how this comes together really helpful with these folds to have a bone folder so I'm going to start here and then we're going to bring that one this way and then fold this this way and then this is going to fold like this I just wanted to have a little peek of the designer series paper from behind because of course we have all this beautiful double-sided paper and it just makes it a little easier to see it I'm gonna use stamp and seal plus I've kind of like dug back into Stamp and Seal Plus recently. It's not everybody's favorite and I understand that, but I I just find I really like not having to like go the extra mile <laughs> with the paper um, or sorry, with the adhesive. Like it just kind of does a lot of the hard stuff for me. Okay, so Stamp and Seal Plus again, because this is kind of a heavier piece once we have all the decor items on it. And this is going to get stuck right here in the middle. So this is just a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper. And most of the card work is going to be here. So you can already see where we're going with this. Love it. Okay, next I'm going to bring in a piece of the classic gift card envelopes. This is such a nice little treat that we had in this holiday catalog because um, I find as my nieces and nephews get older, I tend to do more gift cards. It's just, you know, let them do their own thing. I'm going to bring in Misty Moonlight to coordinate with the backdrop. And we're going to stamp some snowflakes. Just like that. <laughs> I just got it. I shouldn't have done that. Hopefully you guys can't see what I just did. Oh well, it's fine. Um, then we are going to add this with our stamp and seal plus to our card. Look at it, and now I have, yeah. You guys, I'm glad that you appreciate me for who I am because sometimes I am messy. Um, okay, the next thing we're going to do is bring in some things to decorate the front. So I have here some, this, oh, by the way, the snowflakes were from the very cute coordinating stamp set, which is part of that same series. Um, I'm going to bring in some bits and pieces from the DSP. Again, you might have leftover pieces that you haven't been able to part with. So this is a great way to use them up. I am cutting out some cardstock with this fabulous punch. Then I am going to uh, bring in my bear punch. This time I'm going to use the green sweatered bear. And see how I left just a little bit of paper here? That's just to help line it up and hold it. And I also already fussy cut out this little teeny tiny bear. So cute. Hello, Joan. Um, so now I'm going to bring in some dimensionals and we're going to add our bears to 
this green punch. Yeah, right? The bear punch or the, the uh, this punch? Deanna. Uh, the bear punch might be retiring. I can't remember though. You have to look at my store. Okay, so we've added our little bears to that. And then we're going to bring back in that beautiful Knight of Navy ribbon. So I like to just sort of guesswork how much I'm gonna need. Like this, and this is gonna go all the way down like that. And then bring in my fabulous ribbon scissors. And then we're going to add a little bit of stamp and seal plus to the back. Like that. And then starting off the back, we're gonna bring this up. Can you guys see? Up and around and back. Okay, just like that. And then trim off the extra. And then use dimensionals to add that in place. This one goes here. And then we'll add a little bit of embellishment because we love to add the bling. So take your pick tools, it's gonna be a crafter's best friend. It really does help you to pick up these little sequins so that you're not fussing with things that are too small to handle. Especially if you um, have fancy nails or, or struggle to pick up small things. So that's gonna decorate like that. Now I'm gonna just skip ahead because the rest is just stamping to show you the finished project. So here we have our little bear. We've got the Merry Christmas, right? And I love that it showcases that other side of the paper. And then this opens up, Christmas is better together. We've got our little bears, kind of reminiscent of the mom and baby there. And then our little gift card holder. So thank you, Lou, for sharing your expertise on that. I um, really loved coming up with my own version. Okay, so there you've got your fancy fold card, Sam Donald's cute little box technique, and then you have the, um, the Halloween treat, I forget the name every time, Tricks and Treats dies that makes this great little um, fold over box. So if you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, why don't I have these products? Head to my online store. You can shop away to your heart's content. It's the best place to be able to see what's still in stock from our last chance list. There's actually a whole section devoted to that. If you are interested in attending a class locally, remember that my um, gift making class, the pop-up class, we are going to be making this fabulous set of cards. <gasps> I'm not going to show you. Um, and then you're also going to receive a little Christmas treat from me as well as we're sharing a hot chocolate bar that night. Um, or you can come to the tag making class on December 12th and you can um, kit together and we're going to have just some Christmas cheer as well as just some fun being, making tags. You're going to make 20. So it's a great time to uh, kind of hang with friends and craft. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying a little bit of holiday festivities today in the, the celebration of December 1st. Okay, bye for now.